Hi there. Let's talk science. Today, we'll be talking about Grandma's Cookbook, otherwise known as transcription, how we make copies of our genes, and translation, turning that copy into proteins your body can use. It all starts in the nucleus, or for us, the bedroom, where the chromosomes, or Grandma's Cookbook, is located. This book is valuable, so we want to keep it safe from getting anything spilled on it. Today, I'm going to act as our RNA polymerase. And it all gets started by me, the polymerase, locating Grandma's cookbook, the chromosomes, and what recipe we want. After I locate the recipe, I can make a copy of it to take to the kitchen. This copy is our mRNA. But sometimes we aren't quite happy with the recipe, so we modify it. You don't like nuts? Leave them out. Or want to put the chocolate in before the milk? Whatever it is. We can use scissors and tape to cut it up and rearrange it how we want. In the cell, spliceomes cut out introns and extrons and rearrange them. There we go. That looks better. Now, the mRNA leaves the nucleus and travels to the cytoplasm. Our recipe is going to float in there, but I'm RNA polymerase, so I'm going to hang out here in the nucleus for a bit longer. The kitchen, or cytoplasm, is where the chef or ribosome is located, and it can read the ingredients the sous chef, or tRNA, will bring the ingredients to our chef. These ingredients can be any one of 22 different amino acids. The cook mixes the ingredients. This is like our mRNA assembling the amino acids in the correct order. Once all the ingredients are combined, we can cook it. This is like our cell folding the proteins in the correct shape. Our pan is like a chaperone protein that makes sure we get the right shape. Once everything is complete, our protein can now be enjoyed by our cells. Thanks for watching, and I hope you learned a little bit about transcription and translation with Grandma's Cookbook.